At around 4.08 p.m., MV Al-Nur and its contents were destroyed at the explosive dumping control area, which is located on the southeast of Mombasa, a distance of about 33 kilometers from the Kenyan Navy jetty in Mtongwe. Minutes after the Kenyan Navy Explosive Ordnance Disposal Team detonated it, the ship sank to a depth of 329 kilometers. The event was witnessed by President Uhuru Kenyatta and top security chiefs in the country. All this time, the Kenya Air Force patrolled the airspace while the Kenya Navy patrol boats kept a keen watch on the waters. Early in the day, officials from the government chemist, Kenya police, Navy, Nakada and other agencies were at the port of Mombasa to verify that the drug was indeed heroin. We are ready to deal with the drug barons, whatever their position. And they better be warned mapema to get this is just the beginning. Ukipatikana na mihadarati ujue shelia iliomo anti-narcotics law of 1994 inatoa kibali selikali ije chukue mali yako yote hata pusika timbali. Together with journalists, they witnessed the loading of a 370.8 kilograms of heroin seized from the ship. The initial drug haul was 373.8 kilograms, but three of them were taken to the government chemist for further analysis and as exhibits in court proceedings. The ship was then tugged by two boats and taken to be destroyed. Journalists, as well as security personnel and other officials who came to verify the process, were carried on a separate Navy vessel. There had been concerns about the destruction of marine life, but the military says it drained all petroleum and oil products from the ship and removed all battery systems before destroying it. The now destroyed MV Al Nur was captured in June this year near Lamu. Investigations show it had come from Pakistan. Those on board and who were later taken to court are citizens of India, Iran, and Pakistan. A leaked Central Intelligence Agency CIA report, dated July 2014, dubbed Top Secret, has pointed to the presence of a drug cartel in Kenya. The report also links a top cost leader with the current incident. It also recommends further surveillance of six top Kenyan officials whose business practices are not conventional. We asked Mombasa County Commissioner Nelson Marwa about the ownership of the ship. No, no, I cannot comment on that. But we are concerned that they were destined for Kenya, whether it is a transit or it is whatever, you see. With the mission now accomplished, Kenya hopes to send a strong message, not just within the country but worldwide, that it will not relent on the war on drugs and drug trafficking. Peter Mongangi, NTV, about KNS Jasiri in the Indian Ocean.